Mixing these three seeds with 50 atom popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, cause Doug loves movies. your light up name tag it's not time yet <laughs> ho 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 everybody my name is doug and i love movies, this is doug loves movies. <laughs> that's not the right time for that coming to you oh it's fucking night one of the 12 guests of christmas west coast edition at largo on la Cienega at the coronet In Los Angeles. <laughs> People in Los Angeles don't clap for themselves that much. That's why you guys started clapping before I even said Los Angeles. Because you're, you're, you're into this theater more than you're into this town. <laughs> the traffic isn't that bad in this theater. <laughs> they keep most of the smog out. It's Sunday, December 2. It's the tooth. 2018, New York sure was cold. It's good to be back here in LA where it's just kind of cold. <laughs> and I'm surrounded by hot name tags. Yeah, let me see those babies. Oh, we got a lot of interesting shapes and sizes rising up in the dark. We got a light on the nightmare before Christmas. The nightmare Marissa before Christmas. <laughs> good job, Marissa. Outlaw Jordy Wales, and that's that's a drawing, you guys. That's all of these are. Hey, stand up, drawing club, and show everybody in the audience all the great work you did. They drew their name tags. Yeah, they didn't just put a bunch of lights on a piece of wood. <laughs> like that'd be easy to do. But there's Jake's on a plane, and uh, who apocalypse now? Apollo Calypse now. Great job, you guys. And seriously, like that one with the lights all around it, I can't read it at all. It just looks like a square of lights. And turning it off didn't help. Oh, but putting a flashlight on it worked. Titanic? Tyler Tanic, good job. <laughs> it's sick or swim for you tonight. Tyler Tannock. Oh, and there's that great, uh, what's that snake over there? Anaconda. Anaconda. And she put a s fucking snake on sticks and has a sparkly head. Looks like it should be in a Chinese parade. I told her today on Twitter, if that one doesn't get picked, I will be surprised. But you never know. Good luck to everybody. What's this big sack? It's... Mira Kyle on 34th Street, and it's, it's representing the bag of letters that Santa gets at the end of that movie, spoiler alert. That's how they prove that he's Santa, is because the post office goes, well, this is the guy we bring all the Santa mail to. <laughs> that movie, that doesn't hold up, right? <laughs> I, did the John Hughes version fix that problem? I don't think so. Doug plugs tomorrow's night two of the West Coast 12 guests here at Largo. I'll be at the Emerald Cup in Santa Rosa, California in Sonoma County uh, Fairgrounds. It's on the fairgrounds in Santa Rosa. That's December 15th and 16th. And I'm returning to Austin, Texas on December 29th to Cap City Comedy at 4.20. Oh, and just to add it, Doug Lowe's movie's at Helium in Portland on Saturday, January 5th at 4.20. It will be gassy. <laughs> and so there's a huge difference between 12 guests in New York and 12 guests in LA. 12 guests in New York, the green room is downstairs, so I can't hear them all talking amongst themselves <laughs> before I introduce them. But tonight, they're just like, they're just like uh, greyhounds waiting at the gate, 
for it to open up in that electric bunny that they want to fuck so bad. <laughs> do they want to eat it or do they want to fuck it? Whatever it is, I, I agree with PETA. It's, un, it's, not, it's not humane, because the dogs never get to eat or fuck that rabbit. <laughs> what an existence. <laughs> they should all be named Sisyphus. Yeah, that was pretty solid. <laughs> that was a big solid rock of a joke. <laughs> Sorry, boulder. It was more of a boulder. Uh, for all my dates and deets and links, go to douglovesmovies.com. Yes, yeah! We did it, you guys. <laughs> You're all in show business. Most of you know a cue when you hear it. Uh, shout out to Sean Sakame, who am I, excuse me, Sakame, uh, my buddy who, he's been on a lot of the 12 guest shows, but the lineups are so powerful that uh, he's just here standing by in case somebody needs to tap out. <laughs> if somebody needs to tap out, we're gonna call on Sean, he's gonna jump in, but in the meantime, he's getting high and drunk and having a having a pleasant experience. The prize bag, I don't know if you guys saw me on Instagram, we've got something very special I'm giving away tonight, but first let me tell you about the rest of this garbage. There's a, uh, there's a Doug Loves Movies t-shirt, a sippy cup from who knows what Broadway show that I saw on Broadway, well, and this is what I drank my vodka out of, so it's probably got some of my DNA on it if you're into that. A, uh, <laughs> a, um, copy of the magazine, the New York magazine that's in the hotel. <laughs> I really like to pay it forward and let you know, let you guys know about underknown cities like New York. Uh, a Douglas movie sticker, but then also from my friends at Peacemaker, a giant rubber glow in the dark bong. Bring the, let's bring all the lights down. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to say anything further about that. That was the perfect reaction. You guys are already one of the top ten crowds of this year. And it's about time. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Austin, Texas, because you, you get me on the very last night. But uh, all of that is in the prize bag. Plus, I mean, it's going to be multiple bags, let's face it. Good luck to the winner carrying all of this stuff home. Uh, my 12 guests are all bringing something. I nailed it. have exactly 12 guests. They're all here. I'd say hold your applause to the end, but I know how excitable you are. <laughs> and it's in alphabetical order. Please give it up for Emma Arnold, Chip Chantry, Billy Wayne Davis, Zach Galifianakis, John Hamm, Sean S. Jordan, Sam Levine, Amy Miller, Jeff Tate, Allison Rosen, Clark Wolf, and Sarah Silverman. It never ceases to embarrass me that I go to all this trouble to get all these amazing guests and you guys already have a favorite. <laughs> Super uncool. People are gonna be like, I'd do your show again, but people chant Tate. They chant it, it shows he's not even at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. Get that Emma chant going. I mean, you see the cult that's developed here. They'll chant for anybody, almost anybody here. <laughs> I made eye contact with somebody right before I said almost anybody, and now I feel bad. <laughs> All right, let's meet them individually. It should take about 90 minutes. 
not a joke. Yeah, sorry, Sam Levine. We'll see you in a little while. Cool. <laughs> but first, let's say hello to Amy Miller. Hello. Hi, Doug. Amy. 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 That's how everybody, hey, Doug. everybody should get a chant. I don't need it. Thank you, though. I did the same thing on one of the New York shows. I started to talk to you before doing something that we need to do first. <laughs> So I'll see, I feel like that Mr. Microphone commercial. I'll be back, I'll be back later. What did he say? <laughs> Nobody remembers. <laughs> what year was that from? It was from the 1920s, I believe. Oh, good. It was an uh, anti-drinking ad. <laughs> you were down in a speakeasy watching a commercial? I need each and every one of you Ladies and gentlemen on this stage, to pick your name tags. Oh. There's so many good ones to choose from. Just, uh, you know, you could take these steps over here to go out into the crowd and really investigate. Or you could just stand in the front row and take outlaw Jordy Wales. What do you, what'd you pick up there, Amy? Well, I spotted a peewee doll, so it was the thing that I picked. Because I love peewee, and I'm playing for Philip. Phillips Playhouse Christmas Special. Yeah, and it's a, it's a peewee doll with um, uh, just a sign on it says that, but let's, let's see what he has to say. Well, it's been a long time. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah, his voice is really high. Yeah, it was, <laughs> so it doesn't work, you think? No, it doesn't work. Hang on, do it real tight. <laughs> wow. I think so, said, fuck you, Doug. <laughs> Somebody should just slow down the, the, pe the speed of the podcast when they're listening to it. Let us know what he said later. Yeah, somebody Zabruder that shit. <laughs> oh, if you hold it right, you can do it? Oh, if you hold it right up to your ear? Yeah. It's hard, to, hard right. to also put the mic up to it. All right, who brought that piece of garbage? <laughs> thanks, Philip. thanks, Philip. Thanks for ruining Christmas. Pee-wee loves the theater. Yeah, Philip's leading the charge on, on the war against Christmas. Um, okay, so you're playing for Philip, and what'd you bring for the prize bag? Oh, okay. Here's, I actually have a prize box. Wow. <laughs> Thinking outside of it, guys. Um, well, this one's a little uncomfortable now because he had no memory of ever meeting me, but it's a portrait of me and John Hamm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it can be signed? Signed? I mean, I don't know. I know we all meet a lot of people, but... <laughs> I thought we had something special. Um, thank you, Doug. Uh, I also have a copy of Christmas with the Cranks. Um, this uh, sparkly gold t-shirt from my boyfriend's band, Scenes from a Movie. He's gonna be really mad about that, but it's a great shirt and a great band. And uh, I have a boyfriend, John. And, um, <laughs> and <laughs> my comedy album, Solid Gold, great Christmas present. I'll be selling these. I'll be selling these outside after the show. If you wanna come say hi there, pay what you want. Nice. Did you sign it? Yeah, he did, but now, now you might want to keep it because it's John Ham Hearts Amy is what he wrote on there. Fucking liar. <laughs> He's smooth. I'll sign it too. He's smooth. Watch out for that guy. All right, that's an amazing, amazing prize yeah, box. Definitely watch out. <laughs> really hard. Thank you so much. There it is. Hey, let's hear it for my Christmas romper. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And what do you got to plug, Amy Miller? Uh, I will be in Portland on December 15th at the Siren Theater. So, uh, yeah, get tickets for that, a holiday show, a special holiday comedy show, and uh, listen to my podcast, Who's Your God? And, and say hi to me outside later. Yeah. <laughs> Pay what you want for anything in Amy's possession. That's true, yeah. That's Pay the what system. You want. Yeah, you want, that, you want that cute ribbon from her hair? Oh. Bidding starts at $20. I mean, it is rent week, so we'll see okay. what we can do. 
And what was the last movie you saw, Amy? That's the last of the four questions. Um, I saw Bohemian Rhapsody last night. Yeah? Oh! People, you guys are, loved it? people are loving it? Yeah. I, I had mixed feelings. I haven't seen it yet. Well, you know, the, the people are saying that the Freddie Mercury guy does a great job. But, he did a great job, but yeah. But the movie's not as good as he is. I will say I had a lot of fun. I was very excited to see Mike Myers in it because he's my favorite actor. And um, I don't know why that was funny. <laughs> he's brought a lot of joy to my life. Yeah, he's terrific. But it was a little weird when Mike Myers was like, no one's ever going to listen to this song in a car. Like, what? Come on, man. Of just, all the uh, people to say that, fucking Wayne's World guy. Yes, that's why it was embarrassing. It's supposed to be ironic or something? I guess. Boo. I don't know, but... <laughs> It was so weird, like when they cast Danny DeVito to play Andy Kaufman's manager, when Danny DeVito was Andy Kaufman's co-star, yeah. he could have played that part. <laughs> all right, well, thank you, Amy. Those thank are all, all great answers, and you're the winner so far. But now let's say hello to everybody's new best friend. It's Allison Rosen. <laughs> Same four questions, go. <laughs> Starting uh, with who are you playing for? Oh, I'm playing for the wonderful woman who made this Little Women poster that has pictures of four of us on stage on it. Although I'm Beth, and is she the one who dies? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. I don't, all yeah. of us don't know how to take that. But what is your name? Teresa. Teresa. Teresa, you know, Little Women. <laughs> Makes, makes perfect sense. Right. There's two T's in okay. little, one T in Teresa. Oh, but she says she's playing the role of Marmee. Marmee. And I don't remember Marmee. I don't remember her. I she's remember. the one who kills Beth. <laughs> you know... <s> <laughs> well, this is now uncomfortable. Yeah, my least favorite of the Little Women was the one called Smarmee. <laughs> Yeah. She was, she she had an was attitude. kind of weird. Yeah, weird attitude. But yeah, that's a beautiful poster and great job uh, selecting it. What'd you bring for the prize bag? I brought two t shirts. And a microphone? And <laughs> I brought two t shirts. Um, I didn't know. This one has a little bit of special dog hair on it. Okay. Um, and I didn't know what size or what uh, style the person would want. So they get two. Right. They're both Alice yeah. Rosen and Junior Best Friend t-shirts. Because yeah. um, I get a good deal on those. <laughs> and also, um, she's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, I have a new pair of glasses. They're progressives, and I, I can't get used to them, so I'm willing to throw those in as well. <laughs> I didn't bring them on stage. What's the prescription? How do they know that it'll match them or the winner? Oh, no, they're for me. But you're going to give them away? I just don't want them. <laughs> I didn't bring them out here. I'm just saying. But you're I... hoping that the winner's prescription will match because you can't yeah. just wear somebody else's glasses. No, you, you can't. But I'm just saying. I mean, if they want to really could, Mr. Magoo that shit. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're readers in the bottom, a tiny bit of distance, and they'll make you dizzy. Who wants them? Who wants in? Who wants them? Yeah, Who it's like part? really cheap marijuana. It's like a free trip. Right. And what do you got to plug, Allison? Oh, well, I have, okay, so I have my regular podcast, Allison Rosen is Your New Best Friend, which I hope everyone will listen to. And then I have a new podcast that I'm doing with Greg Fitzsimmons, who's a delightful person. Sure. It's called Childish. It's <laughs> Greg, Greg was the 13th guest on this show, just didn't make the cut quite. I want my unborn baby to be the 14th guest. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, so it's an irreverent parenting podcast, but you can listen to it even if you don't have kids. We mostly talk about <laughs> butt stuff. Like there's not a thing you have to click on to say, yes, I <laughs> right. have kids. No, no we, well, we want everyone to listen. Okay. So yeah, please go so check that out. So everyone listen. And the last movie I saw... That's the next one, right? Yeah, you're, you're good. Thank you. I'm sharp. <laughs> Professional broadcaster there. Uh, I saw Mary Shelley on a plane. Wait. Not the Mary Shelley. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. this isn't who have you run into from the world of famous people. 
There's a movie called Mary Shelley. Yes, it's with Elle Fanning. And she plays the title role? She does. So it's and a young Mary Shelley, like before she thinks of Frankenstein? She wrote Frankenstein when she was only 18. What? Doesn't that make you feel bad about yourself? <laughs> Makes me feel great about her, though. <laughs> yeah. And an 18 year old um, came up with that. That's pretty cool. I thought it was really good, and then I read a bunch of reviews that didn't think it was good, but I enjoyed it. On a plane. On a plane. That's all you gotta say. That's right. <laughs> Everything's better on a plane. I think it would have, I think it could have survived terra firma. Okay. It's just me. Yeah, all right. I'm not a top critic. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Well, look who broke the internet. Ralph gets all the credit, but you drove him to it. <laughs> Sarah Silverman, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> A real Reese's Cup fan, clearly. I am hungry. <laughs> Everyone had Reese's. I thought maybe it was some inside joke of this, of this show. I think they... They know that everybody likes Reese's. Oh, uh, these are the ones that the kids sell for $5 and then they get none of it and they give it to, like, different Fagans they work for. <laughs> yeah. You can also buy, like, a box of tea. <laughs> I'm playing for Tom. I remember you used <laughs> Forget it. So, you're playing for who? Tom. Get the, the elephant Tom. Tom. Yeah. He could have done Mr. Tom, like Mr. Mom. He could have done just Tom, the movie Mom. Oh, and that was called Mother. Tom, <laughs> Tom Gun. Is that what you said, Sean? Yeah. All right, it's not your but turn. But he went to talk. a different way with it. <laughs> he went with the elephant Tom. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like everybody in the back row called each other and said, let's go blue tonight, guys. <laughs> let's give John Hamm a break. Let him stand out for once. <laughs> okay, so Tom's who you're playing for. And what'd you bring for the bag? Oh, I brought <laughs> just nothing comedic. That's I brought, okay. this is wrapped because this is what I gave up for, I'm not usually good at Christmas and stuff, but I give it to the people I have to, like agents and stuff like that. <laughs> and then with my real friends, we go like, we don't know how to get present, right? All right, okay. <laughs> so I overcounted, and this is another one, but it's a good gift. It's an at-home uh, allergy test. <laughs> How, how complicated is it to take? You have to prick your finger and you send it into a place. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, let's do it right now. And it's, then uh, this is the top of the line Bebo oh, yeah. vape. That's nice. With a sativa uh, blend of yeah. drugs. Yeah, that's very nice. That's I feel very like an at-home allergy test is the most Jewish gift to give for Christmas. <laughs> I think I'm sick. <laughs> I could be sick. <laughs> so Are you Jewish? That's not cool. <laughs> How many of us that? Two or three? What do you, what? Oh. Uh, what do you got to plug? Not really, not. Can uh, people Ralph? watch I Love America? Can they still see episodes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just did our last I Love You America until we get picked up, I hope. And, um, it's on Hulu. It's just an <laughs> And they're all 21 episodes are there. And I know it seems, well, it's topical. 
So, like, if I have, like, five uh, Rachel Maddow stack up, I delete them, even though I love her. I delete them. <laughs> These, I wouldn't delete them. I think they still, they become more relevant. I feel like I'm doing a hard sell, but <laughs> it doesn't become irrelevant, I feel. Yeah, I mean, if you think you love Wicked America, you should watch this like. show, right? Yeah. I mean, it might not be your cup of tea, but it might. (laughs) Give it a chance. (laughs) And uh, last movie you saw? On a plane, I saw the movie Mission Impossible Fallout. Okay. You know, I don't know. I mean, you got to watch it just to see how committed Tom Cruise is. Like, he really gets out there and Throws himself on planes and shit. I like the, the crazy things where you go, whoa, it's yeah. another person. You know, like, I can't believe Oh, I that. know. It's like, That's no matter how body. many of those they make, when, they put, when someone pulls their face off, I'd fall for it every time. Like, oh, wait, that happened in every other one of these. I love, like, I, they didn't have any, like, born movies or any, like, thrillers I hadn't seen, so I went with that. But I liked three. That was the other one I saw of those. I liked part three. Oh, three, yeah. Yeah. The, this the one wasn't Abrams as good, one. but yeah, it was with, all right. Uh, <laughs> Philip Seymour Ta- Hoffman. <laughs> Philip Seymour yeah. Thomas. That was Philip just Seymour on Hoffman. TV. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Speaking of good, thank you, Sarah. Speaking of good. I will skip him if you don't shut up. It's Jeff Tate, everybody. Hello. Hey, everybody. This is a real letdown, huh? Hulu's pretty cool. I don't know why you guys fucking shift her on it. <laughs> Hulu's a good platform. Jeff, are you chewing gum? Yeah, very, yeah. Please. <laughs> Please get rid of it. Let's this be isn't a professional. Sports podcast. <laughs> also, I happen to know you are literally sitting next to the person who despises gum chewing more than any other living person. <laughs> You've been issued some tissue. Use it. Hey, Sarah, when you've got gold, reach for the pan. Get a microphone and uh, so everybody listening can hear it. Yeah, but that was awesome. Wait, this is just, some of this is just between us. Oh, is this a podcast? It's a podcast. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I mean, I'm I sure these 200 much. people want to hear about all of our dates uh, outside of this city. <laughs> uh, Jeff, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm <laughs> chewing. No, I but I just, seen, I've never seen, seen you, I've never yet. seen you chew gum on stage before. What's that? I've never seen you chew gum on stage before. I, I mean, I, so I guess it's not going to be my thing. He's trying a new affectation. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Holy shit, Vanellope just showed up. <laughs> I love how she takes front and center of the second movie, to be honest with you. But anyway, Jeff. Yeah, I love it. She's my favorite character in the first one. Sorry, Ralph. Sorry, guy with a hammer. Felix. Fix it. His name is Fix It Felix. The amazing John C. Riley. Will he do it, you think? Yes, he would do it. All right. All right, we'll talk to you about it later. I think I have one spot open tomorrow night. <laughs> what does he do on the first night of Hanukkah? I hope he doesn't Because it's chew killing gum. ticket Jesus. sales. <laughs> All right, Jeff, where were we? The first night of Hanukkah is a weird night to crucify somebody. <laughs> Are you still chewing that gum? Yeah, yeah like, Just spit it the fuck out. No, the whole... 
I feel like this was the first. You don't have Is it life-saving gum? I mean, do you, do you need it for your heart or something? No, my dad gave me this gum right before he died. And was like, chew it on a good night, son. Don't waste it. It wasn't even good, but I was doing it for him, but who okay, cares, right? Whatever. I mean, he's been dead for like seven months. So, what? I mean, whatever. He should have he should have told me to do it before the show. He should have been more specific. Who are him. you playing for, Jeff? I'm playing for uh, That's an amazing poster. Rick. Yeah. Bad, <laughs> did a great job. Bad times at the L Rick. That part's not so great, but right? But, but it's the visuals are quite uh, good. Doug's in it. Uh, a lot of good guesses about who's going to be here. Mm. And that must be Rick. This is uh, that's I think Rick, that's right? Wahlberg. That's Zach. That's Zach? That's oh Zach? shit, it is. <laughs> you don't have to show it to everybody upside down. I see it now. I was looking at it upside down. <laughs> I had it upside down. Uh, I didn't know. All right, good job, Rick. And then. Uh, anyway, it's a cool poster. It was a cool movie. What'd you good bring job. for the prize bag? That guy was in it. He's on here. I brought. Hey, would you? Um, I brought a few things for John to sign. A copy of my album. A copy of my album. It's called uh, Led Zeppelin. Sign that. Um, I got a book written by This is your time to shine and I'm so sorry I'm at the beat. Well, that's cool, don't be I got a book written by Razzle Dangerously called Don't Be a Dick It's short I know you guys don't like to, like it's hard to read when you're driving. Uh, John, if you'll sign that. There's gonna be a run on things signed by John Hamm on eBay tomorrow. The other way, I think I got your lighter from earlier. Sorry about that. It's not mine. I got a pair of uh, sunglasses. Uh, for Nelly's Caribbean Ale, it's a Ta Taft's Brewing Company. It's a thing in Cincinnati. But you can wear these to a concert, and then when the sun goes down, and you don't want them anymore, you throw them away. <laughs> right? And then they go to the ocean or whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. And I brought Let's a whistle. Don't, don't be a dick. You could read it, and if you don't want it anymore, throw it away. It's true yeah, of everything I mean, you take brought. take it to the ocean. Yeah. Cut out the middle, man. Throw it right in the ocean. <laughs> What else, I a, Jeff? I brought a whistle. I got this whistle yesterday. I went to see uh, Chris, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation yesterday in the theater. I was home for one day. I thought it would be fun. And then it was one of those talk-alongs. Mm -mm. Oh, it was horrible. Because everyone thinks they know all the words, but they just kind of mutter along in the back. So it's just a bunch of people muttering along to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's real bad. It's like being at a homeless matinee. Oh, uh, it's the fucking worst, man. And people that love Christmas Vacation that much think they're funny because they like Christmas Vacation. Shitter's full. <laughs> oh, man, people were yelling that the whole time. Not even when he said it, just when it fit, when it didn't, when other people were talking. Before the movie started. In the parking lot. <laughs> Hey, so we already know what the last movie you saw was. Um, no, the last movie I saw was Quicksilver. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I like bike movies. What okay. can I say? I'm a sucker for a bike messenger. There's only two movies I'm aware of. But I've There's seen more, them. but let's not get into it. Uh, what... Uh, Okay, that was the last movie you saw. Oh, plugs. Let's do some plugs. Um, hang on. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna be on uh, Doug Loves Movies whenever John C. Riley is. <laughs> Lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll right, see TVA, about that. TVA. <laughs> uh, December 20th, I'm at that place in Knoxville with Trey Gallion. Knoxville, Tennessee. It's a I place called that place? One. I don't know what it's called. Oh, okay. Uh, it's probably on Trey's website. I mean, if it's Knoxville, come on, what are you going to be fucking busy? You'll probably hear about it. <laughs> Just listen up, Knoxville. It's probably gonna happen in the whatever bar you go to. Just go to that bar every night and then there'll be a show. One of them might be us. <laughs> Is that it, Jeff? Oh yeah, I make a podcast called Alter Tates with my brother. You can listen to it. Yes, permission. Permission to listen to it. For everybody listening. Thank you, Jeff. And sitting next to Jeff. Hi. It's me, Doug. <laughs> Emma Arnold. <laughs> Emma Arnold, everybody! Thank you! Hello! It's good to be here. I, I weaseled my way onto this show. It was, you know, a Twitter miracle. It was a Twitter miracle. Because uh, I was tweeting about how Amy was going to be here tonight, and you were jealous. I was. And uh, you mentioned it, and then I said, we'll just come be on the show. A miracle yeah. is what it was. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thank you. Who would you pick to play for tonight? Oh, well, listen. Um, I, when I went out, <laughs> I always get a little overwhelmed by the poster pick, because everybody puts so much time into it. But I, I did think that this was a polar bear with a hat on. Uh, and it is in Turns fact, out it's a regular it, bear with a heart on. Oh no, a hat! No, no, a hat! A hat on. It turns out it's Pimp Daddy Santa. It's not a polar bear. So. It's a pimp Santa. I, I thought it was a bear. Yeah, and she turned it, she changed it to Pimp Daddy Kristen. Yeah, so I'm playing for. I kind of. Kristen, I kind of want to change. <laughs> I do. Let's see what Pimp Daddy has to say because he says oh, he Oh, talks. he does. If you poke his tummy, yeah, he yeah, said... What up, honky? No, I don't like What it. up, honky? Okay. I feel like this is going to come back to haunt me. I'll get almost a late night job and then it'll be like, somebody will be like, yeah, but then she picked that. Hey, where did Tiny Bladder go? Oh. All right, so... Oh, can we... Are you, you want to stick with her or are you going to trade it in? I think I, Kristen, I'm sorry. I'm going <laughs> to, no, you, you had chocolates and I'm so sorry, but I am going to switch to the chocolate. All right. So sorry, sorry, Kristen. Oops. Let's see if the uh, pimp has final words. Kristen's is off the heezy for she's in. <laughs> yeah, no, nope. made the right choice there. <laughs> made the right choice. Glad I stuck with my gut. Okay, now I'm playing for Apocalypse. No. The horror, the horror wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, beautifully drawn, and it's got Lindor dark chocolates on it. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Emma. Have you heard of Apocalypse Now? Oh, that is okay. Yeah. Now Apocalypse now. Is that my friend? Okay, 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 yeah. All right, I got it. Now. Excuse me, Emma, we've got a question on the floor. And yes, yes, okay. the congressperson from Idaho would like to speak. Why is, how come a Christmas pimp doesn't say ho, ho, ho? Yeah, yeah. It's so obvious. Well, because he's got a team of writers that came up with some pretty good shit. <laughs> to be fair, it is on the back of the box. <laughs> It does say ho 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 on the back. <laughs> does it have a punching motion of any kind? Uh, I'm a feminist. All right. Well, that pimp's out of place, so let's, let's, let's not worry about it. Emma, uh, what'd you bring for the prize bag? Um, Some I brought... Lindor chocolates? No, yes. No, those are mine. Um, uh, I got a t-shirt here. 
that. What's it say on it? It says Emma Arnold, yes, please, which is the name of my comedy special. Okay. And then, and it's also very soft. Feel it, Doug. It's a very soft, oh. very high quality cotton. Uh, you're gonna. Oh! <laughs> it's that good. It's that good. I don't make any money I on this. I love it. I love it. Just like butter I love on your it. skin. I put it in my okay. pants. Okay. Okay. Doug. I feel sorry, like that ladies. Kim Santa is setting a poor tone for this show, and I don't. Did you bring that much honey from your own bees? I did bring yes! honey from my own bees. Yes! Oh my gosh, and I have to stand up to tell you this, and I'm sorry, but this is how excited I am. You guys. Yuli's gold! Yes, it is. You guys, this honey... You hand me the whip, I'll hand you the gold. I don't know what that's from, but I'm super excited about it. It sounds great. It sounds so great. I'm going to check it out. Um, no, please, whoever gets this honey, I want you to know, and I'm sorry to be boastful, but this is the year we won the Idaho State Fair Blue Ribbon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. That is award-winning honey. Impressive. Thank you. And so much of it. It's a lot of it, yeah. Yeah. But you're... No, thank you. It stands, it stands on its own. It does. It doesn't... Oh, Amy, that wasn't a dick. That was not a dick. Your picture is beautiful, too. What? Let me recap real quick. John Hamm is hideous. Um, and Emma... <laughs> What do you got to plug? What's coming up? Um, I, uh, I'm touring a bunch in the spring. Uh, I have an album coming out in January. And um, you can check my website for dates and stuff. Uh, but if people have been coming from DLM to, uh, I do two festivals. I co-run two festivals in Boise, Idaho Comedy Festival. And then I do the comedy part of Tree Fort Festival. And people from DLM have been coming to our, our festivals, which is bananas from all yeah. over, from Chicago and New York. And it's been so cool. So. I'm going to plug my festivals, 208 Comedy Festival and Comedy Fort, part of Tree Fort. Right on. Plug in that. Thanks, Emma. You. And then, oh, do I get to say a movie? What's that? I, do I get to say a movie? No, we, don't, oh, we okay. ran out of time. But I, ha I feel very passionate what about What was the last movie you saw? Oh, I It better saw... be Of the Christ if you're so <laughs> <laughs> passionate. I, I saw uh, Mandy. Oh. I loved it so much. Oh, my gosh. I, you guys, let's. I want to start a club just where we watch Mandy and then we talk about it over and over. I loved it so much. Well, I, I apologize. So Every fun. time Mandy comes up, I have to do this joke from Mandy. Uh, Nicholas Cage says to his wife, <laughs> "Knock, knock." <laughs> and she says, "Who's there?" And then he says, "Eric Estrada." <laughs> and then she says, "Eric Estrada, who?" And he says. Eric Estrada from Chips. So good. Best joke you'll hear. Yeah, I loved it. I thought especially, it was especially in, in this administration. I love watching. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I love watching Nicolas Cage act in any movie, good or bad. It's just I like. He was on something. We were watching something tonight, and he was on something. Treasure Nationals. National and, National. <laughs> National Treasure, and it's, uh, it's got South Dakota in it, so let's go ahead and get it right. National yeah, Treasure. National right. Treasures. And, uh, Remember that scene where they were running through the rotunda of a building in Washington, D.C., and the music was like... <laughs> and there's not a piano in the room. No. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, choosing the name tag that I was most excited about tonight is Clark Wolf, everybody. It is a uh, snake <laughs> eat a, a, eating a tree. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. I saw it from afar, and I thought it was a sandworm from Beetlejuice, but when I got up close, it was a snake eating a tree, so that's also good. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, uh, and, but uh, I'm playing for Anna. Anna, okay. Yeah, yeah. Does that, 
Does that happen in Nightmare Before Christmas? Is that where that came from? Yep. Yep, there you go. There we go, so close. Yeah. Also, Rick, I did, I've did. i never been on a poster before, and I didn't see that I was on a poster. Thank you. Yeah. I kind of, now I kind of hope that you, well, Jeff picked it, so you probably will win, but, <laughs> but I want good things for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, yeah, that snake is like on sticks, like a puppet. Oh, this is so cool. Anna it's did delicious. such a great job. Yeah, great job. And oh. uh, what'd you bring for the old bag? All right, so I brought a, a box that I had been, I also brought a box, a gift in a box, and uh, that I've been saving for a little while. Before we go any further, we should probably, that, that's an anaconda, correct? Yeah. An anaconda. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It was anaconda. Most of my comedy is on Thank you, John. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the new Mercedes? <laughs> the best. Nothing. Oh, sorry, Amy. I took your seat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, please. That was says nothing in my box is as funny as what you just said. So, um, so what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, this is. <laughs> so. I know this is Doug Loves Movies, but it's mm-hmm. not TV, it's HBO. It is Game of Thrones. Ooh, and a Game we... of Thrones box? <laughs> so it actually Whoa. plays the theme, which is fun. So um, Blu-ray of season six is in here. Also a Jon Snow holiday ornament, because it is the first night of Hanukkah. So you can put it on your Hanukkah bush if you want. Um, <laughs> why does that? Why does that seem dirty to me? I was Ten years old. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay. So uh, what else is in here is uh, the lovely Sam Levine and I are uh, on a on a show for DC. Um, it's called DC Daily, and it is on. Thank you. One, one guy. That sounds about right. That's a great though. That's why we're we're excited. So it's uh, DC Universe is the is the streaming platform for DC Comics. So there's all sorts of movies. Um, you know, Tim Burton's Batman movies just went back on there. Some of the Nolan movies, TV, comics, all that. So there is a one year subscription for from the folks over at DC Universe in here. And finally, there's a photo of Sam and I when we went to the WB's Halloween Horror Extravaganza. Yeah. <laughs> this and thing cost 30 fucking dollars. Yeah. So and, <laughs> and John Hamm's signature is going to look John, so good on John it. John Hamm's going to sign it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're just yeah, John, on hang on to that, Sharpie. Hang on to that. Here you are, I got a snake I want you to sign. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's going on the pile. Uh, and uh, what do you got to plug, Clark? Oh, you just did some plugs. Yeah, DC Universe. Yeah. Uh, you can see Sam and I on there and my podcast, Sending the Wolf, which is a movie podcast, which Sam has been on, uh, is it came back for me. season two. So what did you say? I said, stop talking about me. There's like 12 other people up here. What? You're getting jealous. Anyone on this stage is welcome to come on my podcast anytime. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shit, no takers, but thank yeah. you. Oh. <laughs> anyway. So, um, and, uh, <laughs> and I just shot a movie called Satanic Panic, which will be out in the spring. Satanic Panic. I like that. And what was the last movie you saw? Last movie I saw was Scrooged. Ooh. Scrooge, which we were talking about backstage. Uh, it's like, it's my, probably my favorite Christmas movie. So you watch it every year? I do. All right. I do. And uh, I showed my, my, I showed my boyfriend who had, he said he had seen it before, but he's like, I don't remember it. And he liked it, but he was confused by the end. He was like, the tone is really weird in that movie. And I was like, what are you yeah. talking about? It's excellent. He's like, why isn't this in black and white? Like all the other. <laughs> yeah. Or, or where's Jim Carrey? All right. Well, <laughs> thank you, Clark. Thank you. Let's, it's like a, a spread and play girl. It's the uh, gentleman of the back row. Starting with Zach Galifianakis! Hey, buddy. I don't know who to talk to. (laughs) 
There might be an audience host. No, my goddamn we'll Aunt the rest Louise. Of this. She's everywhere. It's my goddamn Aunt Louise. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, who are you playing for on behalf uh, of? I, I, you know what, I, I went in the audience and I'm not even, this is, I think I pulled something out of somebody's purse by accident. <laughs> I should ask her, I'm playing for Hallmark. Uh, uh, there's no name and ma'am, I, did I grab something out of your hand that I wasn't that, supposed to? Was that the right thing? She didn't have a name tag, so, so she just it's grabbed a random item out of her purse. So, do you want, so you're, so do you you're want playing to play, for tampons? Do you want to, I originally grabbed a diva cup. No. <laughs> no. Did Brian Carey win that again this year? <laughs> did you want? Did you want? Did you want to play, or did I grab? I, I want to play, and if John can't inside, the yeah. Part. Oh, if John, John's got a sharpie. So if he could throw his name on there. So I'm playing for John Hamm. <laughs> I feel like my photo has lost a lot of value since <laughs> we started this. Uh, <laughs> sign all seven. Sign all seven. And do you have stamps you can mail her? The, uh... <laughs> But it's a pug licking a, I mean, what is that movie? Uh, it says, Wit, oh, withing you a very merry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pug with If a pug tongue. could talk, he would definitely have a speech impediment. <laughs> he would definitely with you a merry Christmas. It's the, the tongue is frozen to the thing like in a Christmas story. It's frozen to the flagpole. So that's why. Pugs okay. can talk fine. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, do you have something for the prize bag? Oh, yeah, I, uh... Oh, he's got to go off stage for it. This is... Impressive. Oh. Oh, John's hand delivering that. Oh, look at this. Yeah, walk up and down the... On the catwalk. I'm too sexy for this coat. So, uh... You're giving away that coat? Yeah, I, I was in Washington, D.C., and I had a tank top on, which is always a bad idea. It's not a tank top city, and this ain't a tank top body. And it was started snowing, and I just... I went into the nearest store. And, and you were like, what would an Apache but wear? I can't, I can't pull this... I look like Steven Seagal when I put it on. I mean, kind of. Kind of do. So, it's warm. That's a it's lovely warm. item. Yeah, here, give that to me. Yeah. I'll take it. And, uh... <laughs> wow, it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Doug, you specifically said nothing fancy. Yeah, I know, I did. I, I said, don't bring anything fancy. fancy, and Zach does not listen. <laughs> what, uh... <laughs> I know you always have a lot of plugs, Zach. Go ahead. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to Six Flags on <laughs> February 14th with my wife. <laughs> my wife. That's all I got going on. <laughs> She's ex real excited. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the last movie you saw? Last movie I saw, I heard they're doing a remake, but it's Satanic Panic. <laughs> the original. No, the last movie I saw was uh, My Sizzle Reel. No, uh... Uh, I watched Elf today with my sons before. You taught your son that anyone could be an elf? I, I'm sorry, say that again? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear you. <laughs> oh, it's a podcast. I keep forgetting. Wait, is where this going to be released? Where do you keep your copy? Is this going to be released? Yes. Okay. Where, where do you, you keep your copy of Elf? On a shelf? 
Did I say Elf? I, I meant Alf. Alf! <laughs> we watched Alf, me and my boys. Are you going to be the reboot of Racerhead? <laughs> Look at that hair. It's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful. <laughs> say hello to my beautiful friend, John Hamm. Uh, Ham's the beer refreshing. Uh, Land of sky blue water. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, buddy? Good. Um, thanks for waiting around. This uh, is fun. <laughs> thanks for still being here. What, uh, um, uh, who oh, are you playing for? Uh, Nate. Nate! Who did not choose a pun, but chose to put the last seven winners. Ooh. Uh, or the faces thereof on in a line and there's a there's a creepy let me check this for accuracy for 18 oh because that's who's gonna win next yeah. so this is the tenth how many times uh, probably eight nine six seven eight nine ten well it's from 10 to 18 two from 17 because we did two shows last year there'll be two what yeah, it goes in order. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. There's nine things on there in order. And then there's space for a tenth. It's like, you know, when you're in a hotel and they have two 17th floors. That's not a thing. It's a little thing. confusing, but you're like, well, it's a good thing they don't have a 13th because that one above 12, that's not really 13. Um, what, so, Nate. What? Thanks, Nate. Nate. Yeah, good job. They went to my college, University of Missouri. <laughs> M I Z. Yeah, you're correct. <laughs> um, what's the next question? What did I bring? How did I have been out here for an hour? How did I get higher? <laughs> Something's kicking in. Yes, yeah, Sarah's gonna have a look at all the winners. Get juiced, psyched to win. Tonight, um, I brought. Uh, some stuff. Oh, uh, wow. I brought a backpack. It's a backpack now, full of things. There's something in the backpack. Okay. Um, yeah. Will you hold this? Here we go. Sign? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, make sure you sign that shit. Knock, knock. It's a guy in the audience Eric who's Estrada. very concerned. I can't remember the rest of it. Okay. So this is a backpack that I got for free uh, from BlizzCon, which I don't really know what that is, but it, it's a... It says BlizzCon on it, it was and it's that, got like Velcro uh, on the front. It was that uh, But in the backpack is, uh, is another backpack. Too. Whoa, double that backpack. That one's from the St. Louis Cardinals, which is my, where my hometown, where I'm from. It's got like a thing. Got like some Cards Louis fans. Uh, and then in that backpack. Oh my God, there better be another backpack. Is it Ozzy Smith? We got another backpack. Another backpack. Uh, this one's from the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. This is uh, like the... Which I was on. Uh, starring uh, one of my former students, Ellie Kemper. Um, so in this backpack, there is, uh, of course, um, a robe. <laughs> Who doesn't like a robe? Uh, also, I think from BlizzCon, it's a World of Warcraft robe. So... I, I, I might a, hang on to that. It says Alliance. I might not put that in the bag. Alliance chair. Um, so oh. yeah, so yeah, three backpacks and a robe. You're gonna be in good shape. Hey, buddy, could you put those backpacks back inside each other? Yeah, I won't. <laughs> yeah. There John, you go. John. Yeah, just we, throw we, them at me. We forbid you from signing those backpacks. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can't do it. Yeah. Some of those backpacks might have the <laughs> rap gift tags still on them. Um, <laughs> so consider that a bonus, I guess. <laughs> you're, you're absconding with the robe? Fair I just, enough. I think I like that robe. It's a good robe. It's very soft, I think. Yeah. I didn't wear it. Maybe I did. And, um, oh, thank you. Uh, okay, and so uh, plugs. I know you got a lot of things to plug. Uh, do I? No. Um, sorry? Yep. Watch Tag on an airplane. Watch Tag on an airplane. All my movies are great on airplanes, you guys. Uh, Buy a Mercedes. The only place people sees them. Um, uh, no, I don't have anything going on. I'm working on a movie right now, though. Want to know what it is? Yes. It's a little independent film called Top Gun 2. 
Wow. Yeah. I'm on the on-ramp to the highway to the danger zone. I mean, here's the deal. My guy is like, I mean, he likes Maverick, but God, he, he, he just he can't get it through his thick head. You know, he needs him, but damn it if he doesn't make it hard on him. Yeah. Why are you doing it? Yeah. Mav? He's, why can't you be a team player, Mav? By the way, I'm going to get sued by Paramount. Because there is no Top Gun 2? No, I made it all up. I made it all up. It's uh, Tom Gun too. Yeah. Starring the elephant Tom. Uh, it's a remake of Nickel and Dime. Operation and, uh, Dumbo Drop for Tom, <laughs> Elephant Tom. I was in the trailer for uh, Nickel and Dime. It was one of my first jobs in LA. I was an extra. Oh yeah? You played the ampersand? I played uh, an onlooker at an airport when an elephant ran through the airport. For real. Jeff's backing you up on that. He, he knows. Believes, he, he, knows he was there. He used to be my agent. If you guys play your cards right, I can let you watch the elevator. All right. All right uh, do, uh, oh, since so you asked us. Last movie you saw. Uh, the favorite. Um, right? With a U. Yes. Um, yeah, and it was I've never good. spelled the with a U before, but now. Favorite. <laughs> Boo, favorite. Fave, you right. Crazy movie, right? Yeah, it was a crazy movie. Yeah. But I liked it. Yeah, me too. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, anyways, that's what I saw. Yeah. Move it on! <laughs> it's Billy Wayne Davis! <laughs> Is this on? Okay. He Jeff. Got, he got a light bright or something? Yeah, I just went to the shiniest one. It yeah, says Jeff. The freaking light bright. Yeah. Yeah, and it says Jeff, and it's got a Christmas tree. Yep. Great That's job, it. Jeff. There's stuff on the back. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's the consolation prize if you lose, but I, I'm feeling good about you tonight. What do you got for the prize bag? Oh, shit. Got it. Yeah. John Hayes. John will help you out. <laughs> oh. Will you sign that? I don't know if he wants to hold that. This is coffee that someone brought back from Hawaii a long time ago when I watched their dog. <laughs> it's good. They just brought a lot. And I don't want to keep drinking it. And that's weed I grew. <laughs> yeah, you got a jar signed by John Hamm. Full of weed grown by it's Billy good. Davis. It's it's Jack Herrera. It's not John Hamm. But the initials are the fucking same. That's in, that's insane. Great job, man. There you go. I think you know. It's funny. I thought I want really wanted that uh, robe, but <laughs> this this is looking pretty good. That's a lot of weed. I got so much. What do you got to plug, dude? Uh, I'm gonna be at Six Flags on February 14th. <laughs> just, watching, just watching Zach on a date. Well, you stand behind Zach and he stands uh, on, on your feet and then he can get on the rides. <laughs> Please don't. I, <laughs> I mean, that was all right, but why do they keep laughing? <laughs> uh, all right, you really don't have any plugs? I'm going to be, yeah, I'm Squid Billies is coming out. I'm a voice on Squid Billies. Squid Billies. <laughs> and what was the last movie you saw, dude? It's the documentary, is that okay? Uh huh. Just uh, don't bore us to death. It's Operation Odessa. It's about... All right, this. our next guest. <laughs> so good. It's so good. This crazy Russian dude named Tarzan tried to buy a submarine to sell to the Cali cartel. That's a good fucking documentary, you guys. 
It's a true story. Who's Odessa? I didn't pay attention to that part. <laughs> It's just Operation Maybe it's Odessa. a submarine. They're just up know. to that letter in the alphabet when they came up with the operation. The alliteration. Yeah. That's why they did it. Thank you, Billy. You're welcome. Uh, next to Billy, we have the candy man. He always brings some candy. It's Sean Jordan, everybody. <laughs> just came down from the hills. To be with us? Because I got a lot of hair. Yeah, you got a beard, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like Jeff Tate beard. I'd say uh, Sean Jordan beard, but look at me, Jeff, when I say that. <laughs> look me in the eye when I say that. <laughs> it's a Jeff Tate beard. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just growing my shit up. Uh, girlfriend lives in Portland, so why not? Oh, yeah, that's uh, exactly why you should do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she per hates perfect it. explanation. She, she doesn't even it. like it, according to Amy. <laughs> John Hamm left the room, he hates it so much. <laughs> He's going to fuck your girlfriend right now. <laughs> let's, all, let's all chill out. I don't know how that. <laughs> I had this whole bit planned where I was going to ask Doug for those uh, shades that Jeff gave you. Where are those uh, sunglasses at? Did you not give those? The, the shades? Can no, I he said he those? might give them. Well, I'm going to need those. He's and we're going to need... Uh, man, this bit's going to die This is hard. a good bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a going? bad What's bit. Happening? It heavily involves John being here. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to wait? You want to wait till he comes back and then do it? Yeah, I mean, I got a microphone. We can keep talking. Okay. We can do the rest of the stuff. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you playing for? Uh, I'm playing for uh, Tyler. Tyler Tannock. Tyler Tannock, Playboy. Where it's got at? some good candy on it. Oh, is, got... it, is it a Top Gun bit? Or are you going to do a Top Gun bit? Is that what you're going to do, Sean? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm get... I was going to get to it. Yeah, so we're playing yeah, for Tyler Tannock. What are you, Tannock. the SS spoiler? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But and alive. Tyler Tannock. Uh, Tyler Tannock. Got it. And, uh, you know, just, I love Titanic, the movie. Uh, and, you know, it's got, got some good-looking stuff got on it. Easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Cheese and rice. You've seen those. I know what I right? like. <laughs> I got those at stores. You sold this motherfucker out. Go buy some, dude. You know. um, what uh, is the next question? What do you have to plug? We, uh, my friend Ian Carmel does a podcast called All Fantasy Everything, and I'm a very, very regular co-host mm -hmm. on there, so uh, listen to that. We draft, we do a fantasy draft of everything but sports, so like the Taco Bell menu, Christmas <laughs> movies, stuff like that. It's fun. It's a good listen. Uh, so yeah, that's what I got to plug. John Hamm back out. Last movie you saw. He's not quite back out. Not quite back out. No. Um, he's really milking it. I watched uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid yesterday. At the New Beverly? No, in the living room, they call it. Oh. <laughs> the New Beverly reopened, and that was their, one of their first day movies. We drove by it on the way here, and I thought, I was like, man, I could have seen it in the yeah, theater, but the we watched screen. it in the living room. It was okay. really good. I've never seen it. A little longer than I wanted, but, you know, really good. You could have done without the uh, rain drops are falling on my head bicycle scene. <laughs> Could have done with that Where you just pretty hard. Paul Newman, you just don't think of him as a guy who likes to have fun with a lady on a bicycle. But that was that was kind of early on in the movie. I was actually... Oh, was it? Not, yeah, I wasn't too bummed on that. that okay. It was the after they go to Bolivia, that, that scene. Yeah. Uh, and then it's like a whole other movie. Yeah. You're like, yeah, they're going to die. Yeah, I like that scene with that. Johnny! Okay. <laughs> Do me a solid, throw those on, and say about 25 years ago, we were inverted. About 25 years ago, we were inverted. Oh, Ty would have That really paid off. off. <laughs> Here's the fun part. Those glasses have anthrax on them. <laughs> I blew it. I apologize. <laughs> but we get where I was going, right? It was a fun, you it's know. It's too early for me to eliminate you. We haven't started the games. <laughs> I'm gonna win. So you get win. to stay and, oh, yeah, tell us, and tell us the last movie you saw. Or wait, plugs? Do your plugs? I did, oh, you did yeah. that? Last movie you saw? You Dog. did that too. <laughs> you're taking the heat off me. I see what you're doing for that whack bit that I just tried to I do. don't know what I'm doing. Thank you, Sean Jordan. <laughs> 
Let's say hi to, it's his first appearance on a show here in Los Angeles. We first met him uh, out on the road in, uh, I think it was Raleigh, North Carolina. It's Chip Chantry, everybody. Chip Chantry's here. Tate, 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 Tate. <laughs> you got, uh, you, you grabbed one of those uh, amazing artists from the front row, Jake's on a Plane. Jake's on a Plane, just like the movie uh, Mary Shelley on a Plane. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I'm loving it. And it's, it's got some cute little peanut butter cups on there that I know, are not they look nice. Reese's. They look, they look fancy. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 you can hang on to those. All right. And uh, I mean, I'm just. Uh, by the way, I, I'm wait. just a Reese's man. Okay. I, for my candy, for my monkeys, I just about Reese's <laughs> all the time. But by the way, when uh, at the beginning of the show, when Doug was like, "Oh, there might not be some people who you're too excited to see," he, I was the one he looked directly at. And, <laughs> So fuck you, Benson. That couldn't, right, be, that couldn't be water under the bridge after all this time. <laughs> <laughs> but for people who don't know me, by the way, I look, uh, if you, for people at home, I look if, like, Jeff Tate kind of turned his life around. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, like just a little bit. That's, you can picture that. I like that you waited till he went to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I'm so mad. Did you there he is. I'm gonna shit on him. Ah. There's loser Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at better you in the back row. <laughs> I would look pretty good, right? <laughs> I, I know, that's it. Oh, yeah. Back and forth. I mean, you got your own look, Chip. You're doing great. Is that, is your microphone working or are you just that loud? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're not amplified, but you're, you're, you're plenty. Yeah. All right, Chip. <laughs> you see what I got? Yes, Hello. put it in the bag. Thanks, Sam. Uh, I got some gummy bears. So we got some uh, Haribo gummy bears. Uh, I got a shot glass that says, bite me with a shark on it, and it says Beverly Hills. Test, test, test. Okay, that's good. For all those Sorry. sharks that are indigenous to Beverly Hills. Um, uh, here's a, a candle with Jesus on it that I got at Ralph's. Because it's his birthday. And, good for uh, the first night of Hanukkah. Yeah, oh, and for the first night of Hanukkah, I have some uh, gold coins right here. Some Sorry. shot coins. We, we call them gelt. Gelt. Amy's not afraid of sharks. I put it right up to her and she didn't even jump. Wow, that's pretty good. And uh, I got some nutmeg because it's Christmas time. Right? Right? You just throw nutmeg. I'm on like anything. around the house all day going, where the fuck is my nutmeg? nutmeg? Exactly. So now you It's have Christmas it, time already and I didn't get any. Hopefully you win tonight. Yeah, there well, no, I'm definitely going to just take it. I can take anything I want. That shark shot glass is awesome. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. What do you got to plug, Chip? Uh, just uh, follow me uh, on uh, at Chip Chantry, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, my next album's coming out in uh, January. So get me and Emma's albums in January. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we have to now. You're right, Sarah. Sarah just pointed out that Sean didn't uh, talk about what he brought for the bag. I forgot. I apologize. Uh, a bunch of candy, you know, popcorn, Sour Patch Kids, freeze. Fucking Sour Patch freeze. I don't even yeah, know what that means, but guns, I want I get one. It. I'm it's just going to try one right now. You could buy a Taco Bell. <laughs> just pass those down here. I'm going to try one right now. Yeah, yeah. Get Go ahead, there. Billy. You want one? Yeah, and then, I don't have an album, but uh, two friends of mine, Ian Carmel and Nathan Brandon, recorded an album, so here's that. Their album from uh, a couple years ago at the Bridgetown Comedy Festival. They're amazing, so buy that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's, uh, I want to yeah. try one of these There it things. is. That's it. Sorry to fuck the hole. Sorry to, sorry to stop everything. I just want to know what Sour Patch Kids Freeze means. Like, what's different about it? There's a... Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's good. Are those the freezes? You want to try one? Pass them down. This is delicious. I'm in. All, All right. right. Thank you, Sean. Sorry about that. That's okay. Chip, what, where did we leave off? We got all the questions out for you? I think, uh, oh, the last movie I saw. Yeah. Uh, I saw The Dundee Project, uh, which is uh, the Mark Burchard movie uh, from American Movie. And, uh, oh, okay. It's amazing. Uh, it's, it's about him going to this town in uh, Wisconsin to see some UFOs. Uh, the whole movie is 17 minutes long with an hour of outtakes. And it's my favorite thing in the world. Okay, so it's not a movie. <laughs> it's a short. It's like an hour and a half. A lot of outtakes. Total. All right. I'll check it out. I like that. I like American Movie a lot. Boy, what time we got, Sam? I think we can safely say that the so. Sour Patch Freeze is a terrible experiment. <laughs> you don't like it? It tastes like sour toothpaste. <laughs> Maybe that's why I liked it. I didn't have any toothpaste growing up. It's like oddly sophisticated. Oh. <laughs> oh it tastes like good toothpaste. 
Did someone in the audience just chuck normal Sour Patch Kids onto the stage? Here's how it's really done. I got the real shit here. Uh, all right. What time you got? It's uh, 9.30. 9.30, so about an hour and 25 minutes. It's not bad. Yeah. I think it's a little Pretty under. Pretty much. Might be a little under. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sam Levine! Hello! A.K.A. Little Logan. That's right. And I'm about to eat a regular Sour Patch. Oh, so much better. <laughs> Night and day. <laughs> I don't know which one of those would be better. Uh, listen, Sam. Yeah, buddy. We ran out of time. We I sure love, did. I love that you're here. Yep. Now, what do you got? Uh, well, I'm playing for Bohemian Anthony. Oh, because, I like uh, it. Taking my, uh, my face, put it on the Bohemian Rhapsody poster, but kept the uh, Freddie Mercury mustache. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I'm taking this home tonight. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, you gotta make love to something. Damn right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can already tell this poster board won't leave in the morning either. Um, can I interest you in a jar of honey? That, that oh, burns. You gotta right? wear a condom. Gross. You eat it. You don't make love to it. Yep. As much as you might love it. Yep. And what... Um, uh, did you bring a whole bag of Target, looks I like? Whole, I got a whole thing here. Did you go on a shopping spree? Yeah. Um, so the first thing I brought is... Uh, thank you so much, guys. First thing I brought is a book on uh, home decor called... Congressman, did you do it? How do you feel about the allegations? I'm, I'm guilty of everything. Uh, it's called Sophistication is Overrated. Um, so give this to your aunt at Christmas. If you forgot to get something, you're welcome. What else you got? I got uh, something you can give your uncle. It's uh, Orange Smooth Metamucil. <laughs> yeah, you know that fucked up uncle? <laughs> You're all set. Uh, I've got some Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. It's eucalyptus and spearmint. Where'd you go to this for this stuff? A Hanukkah store? <laughs> I just... This is crap I took from my mom's basement. Same thing. <laughs> and, uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is real. Um, I ordered something off of Amazon, and they sent me the wrong thing. And when I called yeah. the plane, they were like, that's fine. You could just keep the just wrong keep thing. It. It's uh, five tubes of Pro-X antifungal ointment. <laughs> That is you the value you, pack. You would what order the, you would order the order semi pro X. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! I was gonna say you only ordered. You one. don't have any amateur X. <laughs> and uh, I'm really new to this experience. <laughs> and uh, you know, I know these people love my screeners. So, also, I who the fuck calls Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. What is their number? Bro, do you not know how to They're get a free an online month of Prime? Situation. Call them up. <laughs> um, oh, God. I, uh, Siri, don't call Amazon. <laughs> I brought uh, the DVD copy of Roots, but not the good one. It's the one they did two years ago for History Channel. Oh, I hate that shit, Roots. Yeah. Um, I got uh, Mozart in the Jungle, season one from Amazon, and uh, uh, season one of Glow. Which is go, go, go. so, and your folks are like, "What are you watching?" And you're like, "It's on Netflix." They're like, "I don't know how to use that. Just give them those DVDs." There you go. There you go. Great job. Thanks, buddy. Whoa, it's so heavy. What do you got to plug, dude? Oh, um, season seven of Mad Men is coming up. Also, Million Dollar Arm, and the day the Earth stood still are out in the spring. Thank you. Finally, somebody has John Hamm's yeah. plugs. I'm really excited. It's about time. About all of that. And you can catch me on uh, DC Universe with Clark. And what was the last movie you saw? The uh, last movie I saw was Roma. Woo! Alfonso Cuaron's oh, Roma. I, have, I haven't talked to anybody who's seen that yet. Oh. Is it, uh, does it live up to the um, hype or whatever? Let me ask you a question. Do you like art films? Um... <laughs> To find art film, you mean like Basquiat? I mean, it's black and white. There's, it's a, it is not a fast-paced film. 
Uh, it is a, a character study. There is a lot of symbolism. Uh, it is shot and directed beautifully. Uh, but if you're... Yep. Yep. Look, if your favorite films are the Fast and the Furious movies, this is probably not for you. But if, if you went to film school, you're going to jizz all over this thing. <laughs> How similar to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is it? It's a direct sequel. Oh, then I'm in. Yeah. Then I'm in. I'm very excited for Roma. Yep. <laughs> and I'm also very excited to say, let the games begin! <laughs> Looks like we're going to make it out of here before our curfew of 3 a.m. <laughs> So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, I'd like to start with a game to determine who goes first in the second game. <laughs> and this game is called Characters Welcome. I am going to thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to list characters from the credits of a movie. And the first person to yell out, just people on stage, not from the audience, First people to yell out the correct title wins. And, uh, you know, so either grab a microphone or just, uh, just yell it out. I don't think it'll come to all of you at the same time, but you never know with this shit. Uh, these are taglines for the same holiday movie. I'll just read them until somebody gets it right. Wait, that's... You just changed that's the game. A, you just changed games right in the middle. Listen, you guys, I have a lot of games. And <laughs> Keeping them straight is your job. <laughs> I'm going to list the characters from a film. Are you paying attention? I thought I was, and I am now. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's true. I did write down characters welcome, but this is actually uh, whose tagline is it anyway. Okay. So how does that one go, Doug? I'm going to name the characters from a film. <laughs> You know what? I need more vodka. That's the problem. <laughs> Could I please have a new vodka? Thank you. Oh, we get, if we get two of those going. Who are you guys talking to? We're, we're hoping that... John Hamm, can we're you? Hoping <laughs> <laughs> and sign him on your way out. <laughs> I'm afraid he's not going to know which game we're really playing. We don't know either. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're all in the dark. Let's clear things up. The game is... Whose tagline is it anyway? I'll say taglines from the same movie, first person. Wow, I don't... I don't know if just pouring a bunch of vodka into a cup is what we were looking for. Should probably stay out of the service game, John. It's not... It's a giant shot of vodka. How really... long has it been since you bartended? <laughs> <laughs> He's from St. Louis. They bartend till you black out. <laughs> He's going to do cocktail next. Oh, here we go. Here comes the mixer. This is super inefficient. <laughs> I didn't get any. Okay, so... He's like, drink that seven shots of vodka I put in one cup. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, he's really... Nobody knows this, but the new Top Gun's all about bartending. Uh, it's a soda gun. You know what? I'm sure this is going to be fine. I was going to do a big spit take, but I didn't want to get Amy's pajamas wet. <laughs> Somebody said this, and I think it's a good idea, but drop one of those Sour Patch Kids in there and see what happens. Oh. The freezers. The freezers. Here, they're coming in. Come in hot, Doug. Come in cold. No, Sorry. don't use the freezer ones. I'll just give him some cold gate I'll walk around with. I'm going to use them both. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is maybe, history. Maybe your breath history will be fresh for once. Well, you said I was wearing pajamas. You started it. <laughs> Is this what First Man was about? <laughs> Usually roast battles don't... The follow-up isn't why you were hurt by me. <laughs> uh, 
All right, here we go. I put some of each in there. I don't know what the point of this is. Should I put some honey in there too? Is it fizzing? Really make a new drink. It isn't doing shit. I thought it'd explode like I put a mento in it. I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, that's a good idea. Put a, a mic up to it. Nothing, nothing is happening. That was 20 minutes ago. Oh, they, they all sink to the bottom, so they must not be witches. So, here we go. And the game is, it's, who's tag? I'm gonna say some taglines. Guess what holiday movie it's from. Here we go. Uh, seeing is believing. What do we do? Elf. Elf. No, it's um, the Santa Claus, yeah. What's it called? What would you call it if you were accurate? The what? Santa Claus. The Santa Claus 2. Oh my God, this is amazing. You guys kind of know what it is. But you're not saying it right. The Santa Claus. <laughs> With an E. Miracle the next one is The Legend Comes to Life. Jack Frost. A story to stir the imagination and warm the heart. Event Horizon. <laughs> This year, he really is coming to town. What? That was a TV special. I Santa love... Claus Conquers the Martians. Fuck, give him, give him, give him. Santa Claus the movie. Santa Claus the movie is correct. Very good, Chip Chantry. You get to go first. Yeah, pass him the mic, Sam. And we're going to go that way. So Sam, then Amy. You ready, Amy? I'm picking up my Nana at 10 outside the 7-Eleven. Do you know what time it is now? Wait, what? <laughs> you really have to do that? No, I got high. <laughs> is that why you left your Nana at 7-Eleven? <laughs> because you got high? <laughs> well, it's the first night of Hanukkah, Jeff. That's uh, what yeah, I mean, happens. I was, I was raised Pentecostal. You get some of hot dogs. Night, is tomorrow night like more of a party night for the Hanukkah? I don't, why are you asking me? Because you brought it up. I'm white trash, you know that. <laughs> That's true. I wish there was a Jew here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I mean, we can't call him out in this climate. I know, right? It's a little chilly for this time of year. <laughs> uh, let's start with Chip. Like I said, we're going to play Last Man Stanton. And this, of course, is the game where uh, I tell you some names of some actors and you have to name movies that they were in. If you can't think of one, you're out. This is where the elimination part begins. I love having you all here. I'm sorry, but someone's going to have to go. Sean is, what are you, are you confident that you're going to do well or poorly? What do you? One person started clapping. Oh, okay. He's getting everybody pumped. Yeah. No, he's good. He's a good, he's a good hype man. The best. Look at, he could do that, he could do that thing with his fingers. That some people just snap their fingers, but he flails them about wildly. Probably, probably going to hurt yourself doing that. You know, once, once you're 30, you're not going to be able to do that anymore. <laughs> Once I'm 30. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. You've You're welcome. All right. Uh, tonight, we already brought it up. I mean, I did. You're going to be naming the films of three of the stars of Santa Claus the movie. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Dudley Moore, who plays Patch the Elf. <laughs> uh, John Lithgow who plays BZ, which I guess is a cute abbreviation of Beelzebub, maybe? He's kind of an evil character. BZ. Maybe he's busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's sorry. too busy to take the part, but there he is. And then uh, Burgess Meredith, <laughs> who essayed, he played the role of ancient elf. And I'll do a quick impression of him for you a little later on in the show. Trying to, trying to keep people listening. All right, everybody's in a panic over this. 
I mean, we gotta get rid of you guys. That's the idea. All right, shh. Why is everybody talking amongst themselves? Feels like cheating or, I don't know. Is it cheating if you're helping each other? We were just singing some Christmas songs You're all together. pissed? I mean, seriously, John Lithgow especially, that's a hundred movies. But I can't, I can only think of one. Well, hopefully that one will be the one that comes in handy when it's your turn. That's why I told Sam not to say it. Okay, don't say it, Sam. You even told him the name of the movie? No. Okay. No, I said it Just in my eyes. Just don't say the one she's thinking of. All right, here we go. I'm glad we worked that Sam. out. Sam. Chip. <laughs> Any film that features Dudley Moore, John Lithgow, or Burgess Meredith. All right, uh, I gotta go Rocky. Okay, there you go. Gotta go Rocky. So this is my impression of Burgess Meredith when he's uh, sparring with Rocky and Ro Rocky cuts a terrible, smelly fart. <laughs> Rock! <laughs> All right, Sam. I wanted to be, <laughs> I wanted the, films, to be the fart. <laughs> the films of Dudley Moore, John Lithgow, or, or BM. Harry and the Hendersons. I hate you, Very Sam. nice. How did you pick the one movie, you son of a bitch? I'm gonna start calling you Little Sasquatch. That's the most vicious way anybody's ever said the words Harry and the Hendersons. Go back to where you came from, Sam. Nobody wants you here. I don't care for your casual anti-Semitic humor, Amy. How about that? It is you think casual, she should dress, though. You think she should dress up more when she does anti-Semitic? <laughs> That's right. It's too casual. I won't wear pajamas next time. Yeah. Okay, so Harry and the Hendersons is out. You can't think of any other. Uh, we've mentioned Rocky. Arthur. Oh, Yay! Arthur, yes. Yay! Very good. Allison Rosen. Harry and the Hendersons, too. Now... <laughs> Seriously, Allison. <laughs> well, they already named all the ones You're I You're terrific. Knew. We need you to stick around. Let me do a quick recap. Uh, Chip said Rocky. Uh, so that's, that's all I'm gonna say at this point. But uh, I don't know if you're into numbers. Like, like if Roman numerals, Roman numerals are maybe. your thing. Rocky two. Yes. <laughs> you get to hang out for a little while. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see what happens when it gets around to you. Uh, Sarah? Foul play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and of course, that ticks off uh, two boxes, because two people, Burgess Meredith and Dudley Moore, are both in that. What do you mean, don't do that? Someone else could have said it. Someone else could have said That's why I stopped it. <laughs> What are they gonna say, foul play, um, but second time we've said it? <laughs> Which one did you mean, Dudley or Burgess? I meant Dudley, but I yeah. Burgess was like Burgess the is in there too. pet snake. That's right. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all have a laugh about that off mic comment. Jeff. Uh, <laughs> the world according to Garp. Yes. <laughs> Academy Award nomination for our friend John, Johnny Gogo. Emma. Rocky Three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's most people's favorite because of what happens to him. <laughs> I've seen I've seen it. There you go. Yeah, I've seen all the Rockies. I haven't missed a single Rocky. All right, we, we might we've said too much. Clark. Footloose. Whoa. I've never liked him because of that uh, he, he's so against dancing. Yeah, it's not just the character. John Lithgow hates dancing. 
Zach? Zach. Galifianakis? Uh, say the actor's names again. <laughs> Dudley Moore. Can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> uh, Please uh, give me some Dudley Moore stew. <laughs> The truth in advertising. Say what? The truth in advertising was that. Who's that? Dudley Dudley Moore. He's in a movie called The Truth in Advertising. Yeah. Do you mean something... crazy people? No. <laughs> what? No. Why did you say that? Because he think that I think that's what he meant. He's not gonna last long anyway. <laughs> he's in a movie with John Lithgow and he's not saying that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Which movie is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, The Campaign. The Campaign, yeah. The Campaign. I was at the table read of that movie. Unavailable. Uh, ten. Ten, yes. Billy. Daddy's Home too. Yes. <laughs> Sean Jordan. Someone, someone, someone has faith in you or is excited you're about to go. Is that like fun Morris code that you're going to give me? Like Karate Kid 2, whatever it's doing. I love it. I love it. I'm going to disappoint everybody. We got Ro we got we got Rocky, we got Rocky two, we got Rocky three. Dad? <laughs> uh, War of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why are you one of so those? close Lith and yet so far? <laughs> Planet of the Apes. So far we got Rocky, Rocky two, Rocky three. <laughs> Rocky four. No, you're out. <laughs> Thank you, Sean Jordan. Yeah, that was that was the cannon sound. Showtime. It, it didn't scare everybody like it's supposed to. Probably go a little louder on the cannon. Thanks, but thank you, Sean. Okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Well, that just sounds like a dragon belching. <laughs> Burr! Chip. Uh, did somebody do Arthur II on the rocks? Really, you, you really think we wouldn't remember if someone had said I, I, Arthur II on, on the, the rocks? rocks? <laughs> Arthur, he does what he pleases. <laughs> Sing to me, Christopher Cross. What? Christopher Cross. Oh. oh thank you. Yeah. But what's your answer? Oh, uh, what did uh, Zach say? He said the campagna. Oh, cool. Crazy people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't you know took that. it from Amy twice now. But hey, pass her the mic. Sit next to me. Let's have, give her a microphone, see what she's got. Oh, Sam's going to hold on to his. Okay. Yeah, give it to Chip. I mean, Billy. I mean, John. <laughs> just, throw it, just throw it down. <laughs> Amy? You got another one. Santa Claus the movie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was clever as fuck. Very good. <laughs> Everyone's very proud. <laughs> yeah. Allison? I'm taking a risk with this one. Uh oh. Was Burgess Meredith a voice in Frosty the Snowman? Well, first of all, you mean like that TV cartoon? <laughs> that I recall movie. seeing in a theater. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of my earliest memories. Oh, shit. You've been like, you're one of those robots that got implanted with memories that aren't real. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. I hear nothing. Frosty the Snowman with Jimmy Durante? Yes. Yeah, it was for TV. But was he a voice in it? Jimmy Durante, yeah, he was the... <laughs> Just Meredith, Miracle on 34th Street. What would he do in that? Was he the postman? I don't know. I just feel like I associate Burgess Meredith with those titles. 
<laughs> I had thank a lot you. of fun here. Thank you, Allison thank Rosen. You. Sometimes the cannon, sometimes the cannon's a little slow because they have to reload it. It's colonial. Thank you, Allison. So nice to see you. Great job. When do you do? Uh, February 25th. All right. Yeah. Happy holidays. She was nice. <laughs> yeah, she might be. <laughs> I feel like it's the she middle might be mad of at me. the oh, night. Oh, she's still nice. <laughs> Sarah Silverman. I think I know one. I think you do. Bedazzled? The yes. original. Yes. Later much improved by the great Brendan Fraser. It's a fun joke for the older people. Jeff Tate. Uh, I'm gonna get local with this one. Orange County. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, well, people, those of us who live here don't consider us part of Orange County, but. Is Burgess Meredith in cool. that? Yeah, that was a BM. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. That, with that the actress, genre. actress, I think her name is Skylar Fisk, who's Sissy SpaceX's daughter. There's a scene in that movie where a dog bites her in the face because that's what really happened. A dog bit her face while they were filming. They're like, let's leave that in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she was like, cool. I mean, you know, it's not going to unbite her if she takes it out of the movie. Uh, Emma? Treasures National. <laughs> No, will you allow Wait. it? <laughs> national treasure? I'm going to guess national treasure, because maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yo, no, you definitely don't know. No, I for sure don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go not, get a coffee. Does anybody the, need a coffee? Does anybody need anything? It's Emma Arnold. Thank you. Doug, I have a question. Oh, Amy's got a question. We everybody. still get lifelines on the Christmas no show? No lifelines. Oh. Yeah. We've got to get this shit over with. It's already midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it's already the Clark. second night of Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah. Clark? Cliffhanger. Yes. Here comes Zach. Uh, kiss of the Spider Woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dudley Moore. John Lithgow and Raul Julia. What? John Lithgow and Raul Julia. No, it was William kiss Hurt. Of the oh. But Dudley Moore's in it? Burgess Meredith? Oh, so yeah, no, 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 was anybody people, in that that no, we were no, supposed to say? It. It's like two guys in a cell, the whole right. movie. Right. And, Hurt, a, and a who's, spider woman. Who's the B minus John Lithgow? I think everyone would agree. Yeah. <laughs> Zach is uh, he's hanging out like he might have got that right. It was William Hurt, it wasn't John Lithgow. <laughs> All right. All right, John. Well, if we're doing William Hurt movies now, um, <laughs> Terms of Endearment. <laughs> Only ones that he's done with Dudley Moore. Uh, by the way, Terms of Endearment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Terms of Endearment, yes. Of course. Billy Wayne Davis. <laughs> Give it to us. I told Zach that that was correct, and I was wrong. It wasn't correct. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. There goes, there goes Zach. Thank you, Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> I need another drink, hey, John. Here you go. Oh, oh no. John's got, the, John's got the magic Indian coat. Oh, it, it looks good on him. Nice. Guess what? He looks good in it. Of course. Well, you don't look like oh shit anymore, God. John. Oh. Who wouldn't want to have you back in their wigwam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, you're not going to jump on the negative Native American jokes that Doug is making? Weird. Hey, uh, 
I don't have a microphone, and, and B, I stopped that years ago when I stopped playing at that casino. You know the rules. He smells very good. I want you to know that. I wouldn't think such a huge nerd would have great cologne, but... It's definitely not aftershave. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Did you just answer? No, no. Oh, yeah, right over it. there? Billy did. <laughs> Remember? What did you say? I was like, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> And everybody's like, he's right. What was he yeah. saying? That season of Dexter that's so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trinity killer. It's not yeah. TV. That's the TV thing, isn't mm -hmm. it? I gotta go. Are you good? <laughs> Billy Wayne Davis, thank you. Uh, Why is Skip over Sean? <laughs> He's just coming back from. He's Wolfsburg. out. Oh, you remember? You're, wait, you're out already? Yeah. Why? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. I appreciate Just chilling. Don't you have a beard to grow? Uh oh, Billy Wayne's back. <laughs> oh, weed. He's taking some of his weed. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, but you need a little of it. I thought I was gonna do better than I did. Yeah, you should have. Oh my hung god. Up. All right, all right, okay, good job. <laughs> Chip. Uh, I want to say Lithgow in Twilight Zone, the movie. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> He's very sweaty in that. Sam. Batman, the movie. <laughs> Sorry, oh. Clark. Sorry. Clark is upset. AKA but Batman 66. Dudley Moore was so good in that. <laughs> As the Joker. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Amy, do you have anything? I saw a Twilight Zone, but then it was taken. Oh. Uh, ba Batman Returns. Let's go. <laughs> let me uh, let me just recap real quick. Rocky, Rocky Two, Rocky Three, not Rocky Four. Rocky Five. That is correct. <laughs> Does he appear posthumously in that? In like a flashback scene or something? I don't know. He is. Shut up, Sam. The internet says he's in it. It's like some sort of clip or a picture on a wall. Sarah? This can't be true, but I... I think like one of the Die Hard movies. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Silverman. Billy Wayne Davis is waiting for you with something. <laughs> Weed. <laughs> Jeff? Uh, ricochet. Yeah! Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. That's a good one. <laughs> Clark? All right. I, you know what? This is a guess. Uh, but I'm going to say Burgess Meredith was in Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, isn't he? He's no, been around for a while. He's not in it? I don't think so. Okay, I'm thinking of another old movie I like. Anyway, thank you guys. <laughs> Clark Wolf, thank you. Oh, this is exciting. John uh, Burgess Hare. Meredith was in uh, Twilight Zone, the television show, but I'm not going to guess that because it's a television show. Right. He was a, li he was a, a librarian, librarian and his glasses only were... wanted to be al All he wanted was to be alone. So what happens... Nuclear war happens. Yeah. A blue guess who's alone, and guess what libraries are famously known for being nuclear resistant. Yeah. yeah. In the library, you're safe. So, but do he steps out of you? the library and smashes his glasses he can never read again. Yeah. Time enough at last. Look, I don't want to quibble with you, John, but he's actually in a nuclear fallout shelter that he's looking at to buy. Listen, no one cares about what you think. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no one. Um, I know your hand.
handsome and you can make any jacket look good, but that is wrong. Um, I'm gonna, this is a, a total guess, and I think it's probably wrong. But okay. I'm going to say 12 angry men because there are 12 men in them. Right. Often angry. Seems like and a good he shot. he seems like a guy who seems might have been like angry at one point. I was juror number six in that. <laughs> oh, in the Showtime, the Showtime remake? Uh, no, at Cincinnati Christian High School, class of 96. Yeah. 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 Go Cardinals. <laughs> no, never ever say that. <laughs> We were the Cougars. Oh, the Cardinals. <laughs> anyway, is that wrong or right? Thank you, John Hamm. <laughs> That's very nice of you to give the coat back, because you can only wear it if you're a member at Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll be my gold jacket. <laughs> you looking at that sweet gig as a bouncer at an Indian casino? <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe like a valet where I gotta be outside a lot. Uh, it is it your warm. turn, Jeff? Wait, no, it's Chip's turn? Yeah. Here we go, Chip. Uh, Harry and the Hendersons 2 on the rocks. <laughs> uh, someone said that already. Uh, Chip Chantry, thank you. This is the part of the show where I say eight naughty, nasty little children gone, three good, sweet children left. Eight plus three is only 11. Wait, what? Oh, fuck, I fucked that up every time. Welcome to my podcast, Jeff Does Math. Just does it. I don't even care for it. Is your brother on that one, too? Does he help you out? My brother's on, yeah. yeah. My brother is my co-pilot. <laughs> don't blame me, I voted for my brother. <laughs> right, I got a whole line of merch. It's on Etsy. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It's Friday. <laughs> All right. Just for fun, some of the things we missed, uh, of course, Burgess Meredith was in Grumpy Old, old Men man. and Grumpier yeah. Old Men. Uh, he was seen in archival footage in Rocky Balboa. He was in a three of the creepiest movies ever, Magic, The Sentinel, and Burnt Offerings. Yeah, and he's not known as a creepy movie guy. Oh, Hot to Trot with our friend Bobcat. And then uh, Dudley Moore, we pretty much nailed all of those. Like There's, Father, Like Son, we missed. Yeah, that was laying out there still. Uh, best Defense, Love Sick. And then, uh, interesting that no one got into the uh, Shrek movies with John Lithgow, because he was a voice in the first one, and, murmur uh, rushes and just the that one. So I thought somebody would fall into that trap. Pitch Perfect 3, Interstellar. He's great. Raisin Kane. Yeah. Was, I was waiting. Dream Girls is a fun one. Too. If you're playing with your friends, Dream Girls is a fun with Coke because he's in one scene and he has a stupid long hair wig. <laughs> Isn't he in The Accountant also, I think? What? He is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, keeping track. I didn't, I didn't do the math. All right. So uh, the three of you get to play. Yeah, go ahead and move into the front row. Amy's going to move to the middle area, grab a microphone. Yeah, sit in the uh, chair with the lucky coat on it. Don't sit next to me. <laughs> I was already here. <laughs> wow. This is Jeff in every bar he's ever gone to. That's not even my jacket. I don't know where he went. <laughs> That's why I quit drinking, honestly. It was just, <laughs> it just gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> I poured a little vodka on the prizes, you guys. For all the homies Don't we've worry lost about it. this year. Don't worry about it. We've all lost some homies. All right, so between these three on stage, who uh, can all of you come back uh, tomorrow night to compete against nine more competitors? I need a, this is yes. like the exit row on the airplane. Yes. I need a yes from each so. of you. Yes, I can yeah. come we got back a verbal on. yes on all of them. Yes. 
But unlike the exit row, I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth this time. I'm going to wear this again. Oh, I love it. Not that I'm advancing out of these three, but you get it. I get it. I'm going to sleep in it, too, because it's yeah. pajamas. Well, we're going to... We're going to pick a winner for tonight, but, uh, you know, that's just for, you know, the stats or whatever. But all three of you are, are coming back tomorrow night, and uh, I got nine great people lined up to uh, go up against you, so... Uh, Wait, so the person who wins tomorrow to is crowned the official winner? I mean, you know, probably be two different people, somebody tonight, somebody tomorrow oh, night. Hi, John Hamm is not coming back. <laughs> well, that's rather unfair to everyone who had to compete tonight. You have to be oh, a field man. of 24. Stop being such a nerd. Damn it, Sam. You should have brought it up at the owner's meeting. This isn't Doug Love's Rules, okay, Sam? Oh, my God. That's my favorite podcast. Can we do that podcast? <laughs> Don't you it. love rules? Yeah, no. I, Doug, Lo- <laughs> Doug Love's Rules. This is how that show starts. Sam, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> You look great, Sam. Thanks so much, Amy. I gotta say, these sour patches in the bottom of this drink, it feels like the worm in the tequila. Uh I'm very very excited to hallucinate later. Uh, Let's play Bennington. This is the game where uh, we adjust for inflation. Who did we end up on? Who was the last person just now? Uh, it would be me next. You, you, you were up next when Chip got knocked out? That's correct. All right, so we'll go Chip, Amy, Jeff. Wait, and... Chip's, uh, Chip's huh? not here. My name's Sam. I just wish he was still here. Okay. He doesn't Chip, fucking, you want to he doesn't, he doesn't fucking spell Chip with two Ps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three P. He spells it with three Ps. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to play Bennington, I think. Yes. Um, I'll ask you, I'll name an actor, actress, and then Sam will go first, and you'll tell me uh, what movie you think made their top three, hopefully number one, because that's worth more points. We'll play three rounds, and I've got a way to break a tie if there is one. All right. And it's called Rasselin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam... What do you think's in the top three of top three films of John Hamm? Would have been interesting if you made it this far. It's a good question. He's been in a lot of good movies. Johnny Hams. Somebody sneezed. I think they might be allergic to your thinking process. Oh, there's an allergy test kit. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, who sneezed? Let's see if you're allergic to Sam's bullshit. <laughs> I'm kidding, Sam. I love That's you. That's not you know how I, I said it. That's you made it. Um, I'm going to say Bridesmaids. Top three after being adjusted for inflation by Box Office Mojo. And you're going Bridesmaids. Yeah. Amy? Yeah, Shh. Don't. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's Shut talking up. about. But. Um, because I know he's very talented and I like to look forward in my life, Top Gun 2. How could that be in his top three at the box office when it's not out yet? It's wait and see, it. Doug. <laughs> you fucking wait and see. I'm going to call her up a year from now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> no! Sorry that I said Sam, that. Sam will be mad because it'll affect the record books. Um, I don't know what movies he's in, but please don't tell him because I'm trying to kiss him on the lips again. <laughs> Even though he doesn't remember the last time. She can get him every year is really the point. Is there a mistletoe backstage? Is that how you do it? <laughs> I don't know. Annette, are you kidding? Annette, is there alcohol she doesn't have to backstage? do anything. All right. John just goes to her. I'll All be right, in the so courtyard selling my album. Please come see me. Bye. No, 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 no stay, stay, stay. Don't go, don't go. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, you, you still I might. so bad. No, you, you still. <laughs> this is a lot to. You still might win this. Unzip. I know you're anxious to, to get to where John Hamm is, but stay He's with waiting us. waiting for me in the he bathroom. Might, he, might be, he might be at home. <laughs> He's going to unzip it. That's what's weird. A <laughs> lot of spanks under here. Um, All right. Jeff? Uh, I'm also wearing Spanx. Uh, what are we playing? 
the films, the films of John Hamm. We've got Bridesmaids and a non-answer. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, Baby Driver. Okay. This is interesting. Coming in at number three, Bridesmaids. So that's one point for Sam. Oh, no. Coming in at number two, Shrek Forever After. It's yeah. always a Shrek. But Lithgow wasn't in that one, so I can't blame him for not mentioning it. And then uh, his number one, unfortunately for all of us, is Minions. Minions. All right, so Sam's got one point going into the next round. Amy, you get to go first. The films of Sarah Paulson. Oh, that was... That was Sarah Paulson? <laughs> yeah, you should have took a better look. Oh, boy. Are you, uh, are you familiar with her, Amy? I think I know who that is. Okay, so what was she in? Wait, I don't... I might not know who that is. Yeah. Is she in The Fault in Our Stars? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that's so. Shailene Blam Blam or something. Yes. Right? <laughs> Shailene Blam Blam. I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Barney Rubble's granddaughter, <laughs> Shailene Blam Blam. Uh, uh, all right, uh, G Jeff. Uh, Ocean's Eight. Okay, he's going Ocean's Eight. What uh, do you think, Sam? Uh, I'm going to say uh, Minions. <laughs> That'd be a fun runner, wouldn't it? It really would. Her number three was The Post. Ah. Her number two, Ocean's Eight. San, uh, I mean, Jeff's on the board for two points. And then uh, her number one was, she's in What Women Want. Wow. With Mel Gibson. Very small role, apparently. Yeah. I don't remember. All right. So uh, Jeff's got two, Sam's got one. Anybody's game. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Jeff starts us off. The films of Sam Rockwell. <laughs> Jeff. Iron Man 2. Ooh. <laughs> Sam. Jesus. He'd be a good Jesus. <laughs> like if Jesus danced a little bit. He's always dancing. Jesus? Come on, Sam. I gotta pee. I'm sorry. I just need a second here. <laughs> um, Let's all reflect on 2018. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a knee during this, Sam? No, you should go ahead, because, you know, uh, bad, bad placement here for me. Um... I know, I know, right? He's been in so many things. Someone will have to tell me afterward. I think that was Sam Rockwell. <laughs> Probably was. But he looks really good as, uh, you can't, uh, I mean, obviously it's not out yet, so you, it's not an answer, but he... Looks pretty amazing in that Vice movie. He does look amazing in that Vice yeah. movie. I look forward to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Time's up. Okay. Uh, damn it. The Green Mile. I mean, if you have to lose to somebody. This is true. At least it's not well. Amy. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know that yet. What a Amy, what'd you that say? I didn't say anything yet. It hasn't been my turn. Oh. Amy? <laughs> the Fifth Element. <laughs> <laughs> For Sam Rockwell? Yeah. She okay. thinks he's Gary Oldman. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, who does it? No, she's thinking of Galaxy. I'm thinking of Hitchcock's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. Is it too late? Hitchcock's Guide to the Galaxy Quest. <laughs> Is it too uh, you late? You can change it to that. Okay, I'll change it to Hitchhiker's right. Guide, because I, I think I All have right. another one. Coming in at number eight, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> Seven, Cowboys and Aliens. Six, <laughs> Galaxy Quest. Five, G-Force. Co-starring Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Four, Charlie's Angels. Three, The Green Mile. 
two teenage ninja mutant turtles or something to that effect. Oh, yeah. And Jeff nailed, nailed it with the number one answer, Iron Man 2. Thank you, Sam Levine and Amy Miller. Thank you. Right. What's happening? Stop. Settle down. That's like what the sound guys on the road do. Just play the theme song too early. Do we have a second cannon for... Uh... There you go. There he goes. Jeff, could you pick up a microphone and give one more? You get an extra plug. Do you want to talk about your podcast with your brother again? Uh, I have a podcast with my brother still. <laughs> We're still doing it. What's it called? It's called Altered Tates. Guess what? We had our first lost episode. <laughs> we made one on Friday, but the sound is bad. Uh, that right. happens sometimes, but then, you know, it's an extra special treat for the people that were there live. Um, they I'm doing they my were. annual holiday taint tour, hitting San Diego, Irvine, and Austin in the week between Christmas and New Year's. Hashtag holiday taint. Uh, Jeff, can you help me collect all these name tags? I should have asked everybody to hand it to me before they left, but uh, I didn't. So let's see. S someone named Reba is a shithead? I don't know if it's McIntyre. Who's in this one? Who had, oh, Sam had, uh, oh yeah, we get to say this one. Do you want to say one, Jeff? What's the shithead on the back of that snake? Oh, here, use a microphone. No, pull the, pull the tab. One Get one. Oh, pull the tab. There's a thing you pull out. There's a tab? Oh. Yeah, you? yeah, no, yeah. No, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, you don't grab its face, you grab its anus. <laughs> See right there, you pull that out, and what does it say? Oh, snap. Kavanaugh is a shithead. Oh. <laughs> this was old school. This was old school. They went, uh, Willem Dafoe is a shithead. <laughs> So thank you for listening all these years. Uh, this doesn't have, a, the pimp doesn't have a, oh, it does on the bottom. You guys are getting so innovative with where you put the shitheads. It's a whole thing. I feel like I'm about to say La La Land and be wrong. <laughs> Spiteful Lori Edblom in the Duluth Township of Minnesota. Wow, who's that bitch? Why are you so mad at her? Uh, Jeff got, oh, uh, of course, Neil deGrasse Tyson is allegedly a shithead. <laughs> He's accused of being a shithead. Barbara Stanwyck is the original shithead. Uh, <laughs> what? This one doesn't have one? Trump. Trump, okay. <laughs> Simple enough. Um, Non-alcoholic eggnog is a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that one last. No, everyone agrees on that. What's, why doesn't this one have one? The Titanic one, Tyler Tannic. He has it. What? Has Jeff's got it? Thanks, Jeff, for speaking up. <laughs> L.A. drivers when it's raining are a shithead. <laughs> Do we think we have all of them? Is this the last one? There's Elephant Tom. Oh, here we go, yeah. <laughs> Peel that one off. And put all these to like close enough to the edge so people can just come get their name tags back if they want. Hope to see you guys back uh, tomorrow night. Thank you one more time to Jeff Tate. There's a, there's a company called Hire, H-A-I-E-R. Hire, how do you say that? Do you know? Did this, did no one write this down? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, H-A-I-E-R, refrigerator company, and the defective fridge they sold me. <laughs> I swear, I think you'd know who you are if you wrote that down. <laughs> Seems a little odd that you're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> don't drag me into it. <laughs> where's, the, where's the winner? Are you coming to collect all your prizes? Yeah. Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of shit. Don't take this peewee doll. I assume they're going to want their peewee doll back. 
And I saved this one for last because it was down to two, and this one is, uh, I sincerely agree with it. What's your name, dude? <laughs> What's, Rick, congratulations, Rick. And good luck getting all that home. And I uh, hope to see you guys back here tomorrow night and, uh, uh, you know, more shows in the future. There's another Douglas movies here in L.A. on December 11th over at UCB. It's going to be super fun. But in all seriousness, cancer is a shithead. Happy holidays, everybody. Now it's time for them to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold, his viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room in his heart for you, cause dog...